Hello everybody, long time no see. I feel like I haven't vlogged in literally forever and that's because I really haven't. But I just have had so much going on and yet like nothing exciting at the same time going on that I was like, what am I gonna vlog? Because there's only so much of me just like walking around my house taking care of my kid that I'm sure people wanna watch, you know? Or me complaining about how he doesn't sleep or something like that. He's currently crawling all over the place. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, he is officially a little crawler, kind of. He gets where he wants to go, but he doesn't like do like the graceful, typical crawl that I'm sure you guys are used to. He turned eight months oh, ew, yesterday. Like, I seriously can't handle that. Eight months old? That's so close to a year, you guys. I can't, I can't even handle that, but that's where we're at. Eight months old, he's crawling, he's eating literally anything he can get his hands on. He sits, he's going through the eight month regression right now, so sleep is not in our favor. We're not friends with sleep right now. He gets up one to three times a night. If he gets up one time a night, he's up for two hours straight. Before, he would wake up one time a night, every single night, just once, and I could get in his room, change him, feed him, get him back in bed, 15 minutes tops. So to go from that to two hours, insane, seriously. Yes, I have a hole in my shirt. My freaking button ripped it. How annoying. Hello. <laughs> you want me to pick you up? That's his curl. He's so cute and we're kind of matching today. I have camo on, he has camo, black pants, black shorts. I didn't even do it on purpose. I just really like these shirts. Oh my God, he seriously, is constantly pushing and trying to climb up me. Like he wants me to pick him up and then he wants to just like go at the same time. Like, what do you want? What do you want? Cutie. He just got from his nap, but yeah, he's acting like awfully tired. Yesterday, Ren and I did some sort of landscaping. I'm telling you, this was like the year we were going to like really overdo our landscaping. We have a corner lot, so we have two sides of our house that need like pretty stuff on. <laughs> Basically, like it's not like in between another house. I just hold him. I guess this angle's kind of weird, but what? He's also extremely whiny lately, but he's also teething. Yeah. Aww. You're okay. Anyways, this was the year that we were going to do all of that. And then COVID happened. So we didn't go to stores. We really didn't even want to like spend a lot of money because we didn't know if Ron was going to get laid off. Thankfully, he was able to work from home. Sorry for anyone that's annoyed with the whining, but this is just him literally all day. So that didn't end up happening. And then we kind of just like let it go. Like I'm so embarrassed to even say that, but like, it was outrageous, like so many weeds, all of our bushes were like crazy over outgrown, like it was nuts. So yesterday I went out there for like two hours, ripping out as much as I could, running away every like 30 seconds from bees and from spiders. Oh, you're gonna grab this tiny little under hair, huh? And then Ron went out there and started taking out like stumps of things that bushes that were cut down before. So we went in yesterday and picked up like the weed fabric to put down. So hopefully this will keep it at bay. We're gonna get some mulch today or tomorrow. So we're just gonna kind of basically finish. <laughs> you are crazy, crazy. So we're gonna like finish pulling out weeds, rototillering, all that super fun stuff. Jesus, this is him all the time. Like he's seriously 100% boy, just wants to go, wants to climb, 
wants to score on her mind. I just don't know. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? He seriously loves like me dropping him like fake dropping him like this, right? This is why I have my hair up literally all day, every day. When I have my hair down, he just rips it all out. Ready? Ooh. 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 Yeah. Like he literally puts himself back. But yeah, so we have a lot of work to do. This whole week is going to be us hopefully doing that because honestly, like a lot of people are motivated for summer, which I totally am too. But I'm even more motivated for fall and winter because that's when I really start decorating that side and I want it to look good with my decorations. So, all right, I'm going to feed this kid because he's going crazy and I think that's what he wants. So I'm going to give him some jar food. So it's a few hours later. I'm feeding Carson. Again, you can probably just see his little foot. Is that you? Okay. I can't break concentration. Um, and here in the breezeway, last time you guys saw this, I was just painting like the stairway. You could see how the slate floors look. We actually painted it and I painted all of the doors, which it looks so much better, but, but the floors are not the right color. Like we bought a um, cement paint, we picked out a color and the guy gave us like a completely different color, like name and everything. So it's like 10, sh it's like 10 shades lighter than what it's supposed to be. So he painted, we both painted like the whole thing. I did all like the trim and he did like the rolling of it. Um, and then it dried and we both are like, this ain't it. I had to set him down in his little play mat over there. But um, the floors are so much lighter. To me, it reminds me of like um, epoxy garage floors, like the shade of it. So I hate it. So we are going, it's still like tape and everything. We didn't even take the tape off because we're going to repaint it and I'm not going to retape everything. So that was like Father's Day. So we're slacking. I need to go there. I'll probably go there tomorrow and try to exchange it and tell them what happened because the weirdest thing like even this he made the color and put the swatch on top of the can of the color we wanted and then when you open it it's a 100% different color completely it's not the same color as the swatch at all so someone else got our color I don't I don't even know how you can do that because he swatched it on our can and our can says slate gray and we ordered dark ash so like it was the weirdest thing so I don't know I have no idea what he did but something got screwed up along the lines so anyways um we have those painted i hate it so the, everything is still, like lifted off the floor so it's gonna look like shit in there but there was a wood door right next to um our fireplace that went into our garage that was like a shitty horrible busted ass door and i painted it I painted both of the interior doors i'm sorry both of the exterior doors that go on the outside both sides it looks so so when this floor is the right color and I can finally move that damn tape and like start like decorating in here, it's gonna be beautiful. But I'll show you guys what it looks like right this now. room. You cannot probably not hear runs road to really loud. This is the door I'm talking about. This was like a really gross color. It was like this color, but like the finish is all gone. It's all fucked up. It was horrible. This obviously I'm still gonna do something with this. That's temporary. This is our shoe rack that we're actually gonna throw away. That's just there for now, his car seat. But this is the floors I'm talking about. It's just on doing that but it's just it's just not cute <laughs> i really don't like the color the paints downstairs or else i go down there and show you but it's like really super dark and i want that color so there's that we have so much like pride like we literally sat down one night at like midnight ryan and i were outside carson was asleep obviously at midnight and we were just sitting around listening to music just us two having a beer and just talking about like what our goals are and what we want to achieve in our house. And I pulled out one of my notebooks and we made like a huge list of everything we want to accomplish, like small and big things. So there's so many things that we want to do here because we're gonna be here 
for at least five years. Not to mention we spent so much time and money on this kitchen. I love it, I want to enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm not trying to move out right now, but I do wanna finish up a lot of this house, a lot that we want to do. So I'm very excited for what we have planned. It's just gonna take a lot of time, which is something I don't have a lot of with Carson. Okay, so I figured I would cook and prep these potatoes and kind of tell you what's in them while I talk. One. He's been silent this whole time. I just pulled everything out that I needed. He didn't make a freaking peep. I'm gonna have to bring him up here. Oh no, momento. Anyways, to make these potatoes, you just take russet potatoes, like the brown potatoes, and you cut them into wedges. You can do um, like this one's a little thick. Bless you. Oh, uh, why you drop that? He loves these little like teething wafer things. He just sucks at eating them. So like most of the time I literally have to break it up and feed it to him because he'll just drop it and shove it somewhere. But it's pretty simple to make these potatoes. I just cut them into a bunch of wedges, toss them into a bowl. The first time I did this recipe, I like followed it to a T and it wasn't like seasoned enough for me. And Ron kind of agreed, oh, this is really big, um, that it wasn't seasoned enough. I eat these things all the time. <laughs> like the little pieces that he doesn't eat. All right. um, so I like to put a lot more in. So if you're like a mild season person, maybe just follow the recipe. I like a lot of seasonings on things. I don't like spicy, but I like a lot of seasonings. Like the choppiest video like, <laughs> portion I've ever filmed because I just got like two phone calls in the middle of this. Ryan came in, so it stopped and my phone died, like a bunch of stuff. Okay, so anyways, four tablespoons of oil. And this is what the recipe calls for. Two teaspoons of garlic, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of salt. So what I do is I usually do four teaspoons of garlic, four teaspoons of Italian seasoning. <coughs> Jesus, I just like inhaled all the seasonings. <coughs> I just like attacked me. Oh my God, ew. Anyways, you want this? And I switch out the salt for Lari's seasoning salt. This is just really good. I really don't know what exactly is in here to be honest, but it tastes good. And of course it depends on like how much potatoes you're doing. The recipe says put shredded Parmesan in here and mix it around and don't do that because it doesn't stick to the potatoes right. It kind of all just pulls at the bottom. I always lay them out on a cooking tray, which I'm about to do right now, and then sprinkle it on top, toss it in. I'm curious because I always talk about this with people. What kind of cooker are you? Are you a person that pulls everything out, leaves everything out until you're done cooking? Or are you the type of person that cleans up while you're going? Like when you're done with something, you stop and you put it away because that's how I am because I can't handle clutter. So like right now I'm putting all my spices away because I don't like everything being out. I can't handle it. So now I take tongs because like, I don't like my hands messy. This needs to be in the garbage. And you just take them and you lay them out on a cookie tray. It says to try to put them on the skin, like sitting up like this. It's impossible. The second you move it, they all tip over. Some of them aren't like thick enough to sit on top or like they're not even. So I just do this. Okay, so now they're all laid out in a cooking tray and then there's like this extra goodness here. So I just drizzle this over, pop it in for 30 minutes to 40 minutes and you're done. There's like 10 to 15 minutes left on the timer. I pour some of that on top of it so it melts really nicely. I used to put it on like at the beginning. I would put it all on right now, put it in the oven and it would get kind of 
not burnt, but just like really crispy. I kind of like it more soft. So again, preference thing. I just put it on 15 minutes left over. It is two o'clock exactly. I've had, oh my God, my hair. <laughs> so cute. Anyways, I have had such a productive day, even though it probably doesn't look like it. I, so far, woke up, obviously. Put Carson down now for two naps. He's been sleeping for two and a half hours. I'm hoping he sleeps until at least 2.30 because that'll be three hours and then he'll just stay up until seven because he only takes two naps a day now. So if he wakes up at 2.30, he won't be miserable around bedtime, which is seven. Anyways, since I put him down, I have swept my entire house, cleaned, like deep cleaned with like bleach and um, Comet, both bathrooms cleaned my entire couch, all my surfaces, like counters, bathrooms, tubs, showers, the whole deal, unloaded and reeled the dishwasher, cleaned my bedroom, put away all of the toys, cleaned all of like my little like tables and consoles and all that kind of stuff. There's more. Oh, I, cl I clean up the breezeway. I don't know, I've done so much, I'm so dead. But I feel so good. <laughs> like my house is clean. Like I love, like my house is always cleaned up. Like it's, it's never like dirty, okay? Like it gets messy and like untidy, but it's never like dirty. But to do like a deep, deep clean feels so good. Like sitting here, knowing that this weekend is coming, obviously tomorrow. No, now I don't have to do like any cleaning besides laundry. And I really don't even have that much laundry such a good feeling okay this isn't the best angle typical but i wanted to show you guys this because i've never used this so i wanted to try to use it on camera for the first time i'm eating my noodles in these cute little pink bowls i got these from target for 79 cents a piece and they're really big they're really nice i got matching cups i got some in gray super cute so, as most of you guys know, if you don't and you're new here, I'm a makeup artist, like, um, part-time. I don't do it full-time. Also, I cut my fingers today, so ignore that. But I'm a makeup artist, um, so I do a lot of weddings, bridal showers, some baby showers, graduations, really anything that you would want your makeup done for, like, I do it. So, with everything going on with COVID right now, it's kind of like changed my perspective of it, to be honest. Um, I've always been very sanitary, new brushes, different sponges for every single person. Everything is cleaned. I never double dip for mascaras or lipsticks ever, but I feel like you have to be even more cautious now and I want everything to be like sterile in between each person. And honestly, it's just not feasible to get 15 different makeup brush sets because they're so expensive. I use really good brushes and I think my set, I use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes and I think that the full master set is $170, if not more, something like that. But, so I have one for myself, I have one for my clients and then I have a bunch of other brushes mixed in there as well for my clients. So I mean, I do have duplicates of brushes for sure, but I don't have like five sets of every single brush. So I always clean them in between, but I wanted to take it like a step further. So I'm sure most of you guys have heard of Cinema Secrets. If you haven't, it is a makeup brush cleaner. Um, it's 99.99% .99 bacteria free. It's a rinse, quick drying, rinse free formula. So it's like an on the spot cleaner that completely takes all the makeup out of it, sanitizes it, disinfects it, and then it also comes out dry, which is very important because of course I can wash my brushes in between, but they're gonna be wet so that wouldn't work so i've never used this before um i've seen a lot of people rave about it it's kind of pricey like for this little bottle and just a tin is 25 bucks for the big bottle there's a bottle like this it's 42 so i mean it's definitely a lot of money but with everything going on i think it's definitely worth it i have a makeup appointment for a wedding next weekend i've actually denied a lot of people recently for makeup because it's just really scary. I have a baby. 
a lot of my weddings have been canceled and moved to next year already, which I honestly was relieved about because I didn't want to do them. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have canceled, but I didn't want to do them. And to the fun stuff, I'm cleaning my own brushes. I'm not gonna lie. My brushes are so dirty. It's like shocking. So dirty. But I have one of those little like spongy cleaners that you can like take off the um, eyeshadow in between each thing. I just haven't like deep cleaned my brushes. Like I have a lot of multiples of brushes. I have like five or six different foundation brushes. So when one will get too dirty, I just put it to the side and start using another one, start using another one. Now I'm out of all my brushes <laughs> like that. I have like duplicates of all of them are filthy. So I definitely want to try it out. I have a white towel here and people are going to be like, why are you about to do this in a white towel? These are like the really cheap Target room essential towels that I actually use for my makeup. They're already kind of stained and I just throw them in with bleach and it takes out a lot of it, but some of it doesn't come out. Like as you can see, this is brand, this is like clean, but they still get dirty. But I also wanted to use white so I can see how much is coming out of it because it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. So I'm gonna pour some in here. So I don't know how much to put in. I'm just gonna start with a little bit because I don't wanna be wasteful. You can't even see it, but it's very strong chemical smelling. I heard that it's strong chemical smelling to begin with. And then, oh my God, it's like taking my breath away. <laughs> and then um, it smells like vanilla. It, I can smell the vanilla, but I can also smell the chemical. So I'm going to start with a disgusting foundation brush. Like, ew, this shit's dirty. I haven't used this in a long time. I'm not applying this to my face because this is really gross. I have a bunch of foundation brushes that once they get too dirty, I just throw this one to the side. So I'm just gonna take this and smush it in here. Yeah. Oh my God, this absorbed all of that. Oh my God, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, but this is gonna take so much product. That's the thing I think is gonna stuck about this. Like this isn't cheap. I might, I'm gonna do my brushes with this now, but um, oh my goodness. I think after this, I'm just gonna use this for makeup appointments. Yeah, this is one brush just used so much product, but guys, that's insane. Like it literally soaked through. That's how much makeup is on these. And it's like soft and clean. I wish this wasn't so much money because I would seriously use this all the time. And then there's this one, again, disgusting. Like, see, but the thing is like, once you put this in there, it like, all the product, oh my God. It literally looks like, I just like painted Foundation. It looks like I dipped it into foundation and just swiped it across. Like that's how much is coming off. I feel like by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to have to buy another bottle for next weekend. but it uses so much product two brushes guys i mean don't get me wrong those are the dirtiest brushes i have in here but this is like extremely wasteful so i have a lot of eye brushes that i want to clean like i think i'm gonna be able to pick them all up so hopefully i don't use the rest of this bottle because that's yeah, I'm not using 
nearly as much. I think I'll be able to almost do all of these. I might have to go in just a little bit more, but before I was doing like one to two brushes with the amount I have in here of like my face brushes. These ones are really gross because I use these for to clean up like my brows with concealer. So they're like caked. But it just effortlessly took them out. Like when I clean this with like normal soap, it is such, like I hate cleaning these ones because they're so disgustingly like, let me see if you can see that, like caked. You can't even see it that well. It's disgusting. But this just like breaks it down. All my brushes are clean. Like literally I did almost all of them besides like three or four brushes that I don't use. And this one, because this is huge and I feel like this would literally take up like half the bottle. <laughs> this is a giant brush. And I don't use this one that often. I don't need to clean up, but like. Nuts, dude. That took everything out of those brushes, but that's more than half of the bottle. So it just depends on honestly what you need it for. <laughs> I'm shocked at, like I've said a hundred times, at how it took everything off. That's crazy to me. I can't even handle that. But it's also very expensive and it uses a lot of it. So it's up to you because I mean, I would be able to do my brushes one more time if I did them all. This would be good for my appointment next weekend, but I think I'm gonna use probably the rest of this next weekend. So I'll probably just use this from now on like when my brushes are super dirty and I need to get like in there for like those foundation brushes to get that like hard foundation out and for appointments. But other than that, probably just stick to soap because the cost you know. So it is 2.30. I'm still eating my noodles and I'm hearing Carson talking. So he just woke up. So he's been sleeping for, he slept for three hours. So that's exciting. So I'm going to go grab him and he's not crying. So he's in a good mood. He's like in there just chattering away. So I'm going to take a few bites of this, go get my babe. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Morning. You guys say good morning. You crazy here. His hair is getting so long that it's like sticking straight off of his head. Anyways, I'm actually filming another. <coughs> Carson wants to talk. What do you have to say? He only likes talking when I'm talking. He'll like start screaming as I'm talking. Watch, once I get into it, he'll start. So I'm actually filming another vlog right now because I have um, kind of a lot going on. I mean, not like a lot, a lot. There's only so much I can go on being a stay-at-home mom and quarantine life. But <laughs> um, I realized as I was editing this one that I just like never came back on. I know, so amateur of me, but that I, I just ended it. And I never like closed it up or anything like that. So that, yeah. Yeah. Really? Anyways, so that is what I'm doing here. I am ending this vlog. Don't mind my closet open. I've been cleaning, but um, Thank you guys for watching. Sorry that this was kind of like all over the place. I had a totally different like route that I was gonna take for this video. <laughs> like I was gonna do other things in it and that's actually happening in the one I'm filming today. But the other one, mm -hmm. but this one just got too long. So I just figured, <laughs> I just figured I'd do it in two videos. You only like talking when I'm talking, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Is that you? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't mind my kids screaming on top of me. <laughs> 
I'm telling you, he only talks when I'm talking. He, like, he wants to interrupt <coughs> what I have to say every single time. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel where you guys don't miss out on any of the craziness and videos that I am filming now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.